I know, lads, I'm late on this one, but it's something I got to talk about. The first time I'm talking about the doc on the brand new channel, thank you all for being here. Of course, we're talking about his teasing of a brand new arena and what many people thought was going to be a brand new platform for Dr. Disrespect. It's been a long awaited. The reason why he was permanently banned by Twitch, we'll probably never figure it out. He's still pulling great numbers on YouTube, and a lot of people are wondering of the supposed rumored signings to kick, the six to seven big signings that were supposed to come months ago or at least sometime soon nothing's really happened but it was doc teasing a brand new arena that had people thinking okay he's moving that youtube arena over to kick champs got a little update for you it's a big it's kind of a big news it's kind of a big announcement you ready it's a big one it's a big one We are building a brand new arena. It's big. It's big. It's a. It's big time. Uh, we're building it out. I just got the schematics in. I think we're going to be moving forward. And funnily enough, this was now a couple months ago. His response to all of this was just, "Hey." Uh, you know, shut up. Hey, doctor, are you going to kick? Shut the fuck up! Stop asking! I'll let you know. But it didn't stop others from continuing the speculation. This was probably during the peak time of all the rumors of who might be switching platforms. And we still will see platform switches these next few months. Certainly so. It's going to happen. Rumble's been popping up. Kick's been popping up. A lot of these platforms are fighting. But it seems that Twitch and YouTube are just not going to be signing any big streamers. They've almost abandoned those models for now, especially Twitch. But even someone like Train has said, yeah, maybe. But it, that's probably going to be the answer for a lot of big streamers out there. We need the doth on kick. Who knows? Maybe. And so now the question is, will Dr. Disrespect actually leave YouTube for a platform like kick? You know, what are the benefits of that? Possibly a decently sized bag, you know, transitioning that audience, maybe getting some money from kick that he mixed out. He missed out on with the whole rumors of the mixer deal and how that fell through. And then what's the cutback? I mean, he's still going to have a YouTube audience. I, I don't know if I see too many negatives. I think a lot of streamers have been switched to kick and not really faced too much backlash because times are certainly tough. And I think a lot of his fans want him to, you know, to get that bag and get paid too. But could he move a sizable audience over to kick? And would he fit the platform? I don't, I don't know. I simply don't know. But we'll see. And we'll see what, uh, what kick does these next few months and who they can actually sign. Who do you think? Till next time. Take care of yourselves. All right? Okay. Bye.